In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the song Lamb by Elevation Worship. So for this song, we're in the key of G. We don't need a capo for this song, so we're just going to be playing the G shapes. So the chords we need, we need the G chord. And then we need the C chord. We're going to use this C chord here. And also we're going to sneak in just kind of this C major chord that we'll use for the, um, the finger picking for the beginning. So the G, the C, we need this D chord. And I'll also, I may slide up in this lesson to this D chord here, kind of like that C shaped D chord. So I might do both in this lesson. Then we need the E minor. We need the D over F sharp chord, which you can do it this way, or you can do it this way, just adding your thumb on top of that D chord. And then the last chord we need is a G over B, which is just your G chord. Take that middle finger off, mute the top string, and there you go. So for this song, we're where there's a G over B, you can also just use a regular G chord if you want to. So the chord charts um, for this song, I do have them on my Patreon page. So if you wanna uh, download them, if you want to print them off, put some notes on there, uh, they're on my page, uh, Patreon page. So I'll link that down below. I'll try to link it up here too. Um, that way you can print them off, download them, whatever you need to do. And um, for this song, so, um, really nice. We're going to go through some finger picking for the first couple of verses. Um, then we'll get into some strumming and some rhythm for the, the second verse, the chorus, and the bridge. So for the first, uh, for the intro, the intro and the chorus, um, they're basically going to be the same thing. But we'll just start off with that intro. So it's going to sound like this. suffer for nothing so it kind of goes right into that first verse on that E minor so what we're doing here we're just getting into our finger picking position here on the right hand side so I don't have time to go through the full-blown finger picking dynamics but um, if you're new to finger picking I'll link a bunch of easy lessons I do um, showing you how to finger pick which strings to put your fingers on just to make it super super easy um, so I'll link some of those up top and I'll also have that in the description down below but this is what we're doing for that G chord and, and really for all the chords we're just going kind of straight down the pike as I always say so thumb thumb pointer middle same thing for this D over F sharp same thing for this E minor and then you can go to this normal C or the C C at nine and then just go back to the G or instead of doing that C you, if you hear in the recording they got a little that's where you have your, your C major so Like, so you can mess around if you want to just do a full, like a, an open G chord, if it's easier for you to change um, strings. Um. It might be easier going from that E minor, uh, kind of just keeping that ring finger off. Plucking those two at the same time, as opposed to keeping that ring finger on there. Uh, might be a little bit easier making that transition so anyways that's the intro let me play through it one more time
You did not suffer for nothing. So that goes right into the verse. So the verse, we're going to go um, E minor, C. You can do a G over B or just a regular G. And then we're going to go to the C and then we'll kind of repeat that. So let me just play through that verse. And I'm going to use the same finger picking pattern, just kind of straight down the pike as I, you know, as I, as I call it. So you did not suffer for nothing when you shed your blood and every drop was on purpose. What amazing love. So we're keeping that finger picking really nice and simple. We're not doing anything crazy, anything intricate. So I'll play through it one more time. You did not suffer for nothing. You could do a regular G if you wanted to instead of that G over B. When you shed your blood. Every drop was on purpose. What amazing love. Pre chorus. And I will make my boast in your cross alone. Laying every crown at your feet. So that pre-chorus is just D, E minor, C twice. So D. And then you can also slide up to this D if you wanted to. And I will make my boast in your cross alone. Laying every crown at your feet. So let me play through that pre-chorus one more time, leading into the, uh, maybe we'll do the, the um, verse into the full pre-chorus. So last verse of the last line of verse one. What amazing love. And I will make my boast in your cross, O oh Lord, laying every crown at your feet. Chorus. Lamb of God, worthy is the Lamb of God, worthy And as you knelt in the garden. So we'll get into that strum there for verse two. So that, um, that, that chorus is the same as the intro. We're just doing it twice. So, Lamb of God, worthy is the Lamb of God, worthy is the Lamb of God, worthy is the Lamb. And as you knelt in the... So that kind of goes right into that verse two. So let me give you just an easy strum for this verse two. It's gonna be kind of rhythmic, just the down strums. We're gonna to count to four. Um, so that verse two. And as you knelt in the garden, was I, was I on your mind? Oh, that's kind of weird. What was the joy set before you? 
was my heart your prize? So we're just doing down strums, just kind of building it a little bit. So as you knelt, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, up, three, four, one, two, three, four, up. Same thing for each chord. Was my heart your prize? Yeah, so that goes into the pre chorus. Kind of do the same thing. And I will make my boast in your cross. Oh Lord, alone. Laying every crown at your feet. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keeping kind of that rhythmic down strum. One, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. So just adding that up strum after each. Um, after the fourth down strum on each uh, chord. It just kind of gives it a little bit more rhythm. So um, that, we do the chorus twice, then we do an instrumental, which the instrumental is just gonna be the same chord progression as the bridge. So it's gonna go E minor. So this is kind of why like you probably need the chord charts for this song because it goes back into the bridge and then it does an instrumental again and then it ends with the chorus. So um, uh, let me just, I'll play through um, the chorus, getting into the instrumental, getting into the bridge, and then I'll play the full bridge. Um, that might be a good, uh, at least give you an idea as to how that sounds. Lamb of God. I don't know. 
some chord progression there. So you may want to double check on that instrumental getting out of the second chorus. There's a lot of parts to this song, guys. So um, you may just want to double check on that, but I think the rest of it should be should be pretty good. So again, chord charts are on my Patreon page if you need them to download, to print. Um, hope this helps you guys out. Uh, let me know if you have questions or you're confused about anything. And um, if not, I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.